Hey guys, today I'm going to be taking a look at Calculate Linux 17.12. This was just released uh, today. This is the latest snapshot for Calculate Linux. I actually reviewed Calculate Linux uh, a couple of months back and I really loved it. I th thought it was one of the best Gen 2 based desktop Linux distributions out there. Uh, when I reviewed that, that uh, particular snapshot was a, a little old, uh, so I'm actually pretty excited that we have a new release of Calculate Linux, Calculate Linux 17.12. Again, it's Gen 2 based, so rolling release. They offer a, a variety of different desktops. Uh, let's see, we can run uh, KDE, Mate, LXQT, LXDE, Cinnamon. I I'm sure there's other options out there as well. I'm going to download the ISO for the XFCE edition of Calculate Linux because last time when I reviewed Calculate, I reviewed the KDE edition, which I, I really liked. Today I'm going to go in a little bit of a different direction and I'm going to choose their XFCE edition. Alright, so I downloaded the ISO. I'm going to install this inside VirtualBox. I'm going to kind of rush through the install process since I just reviewed Calculate Linux just a couple of months ago. I'm sure the install process is very similar to what it was just a couple of months ago. So I'm just going to blow through this as quickly as I can to get to the actual XFC desktop. Alright, we booted into our live desktop environment. We have Calculate Linux install right here on the desktop. I'm going to launch that. Alright, we have language and locale English United States I'm gonna click next It's asking about installation image calculate Linux desktop XFCE edition has been chosen I'm gonna click next it's asking about partitioning I'm gonna erase the disk and I'm gonna give calculate Linux the entire 15 gig hard drive of this virtual machine alright when I click next I get a warning there's not enough space on this device 15 gigs is available I created a 15 gig hard drive on this virtual machine it says I need 21.9 gigs more of space. That's 37 gigs of disk space. There's no way this distro needs 37 gigs of disk space. Not even close to that amount of space. But I guess I need to go back and create like a 40 gig drive on this virtual machine and restart the installation. I'll be right back. Okay, so I created a 40 gig hard drive on this virtual machine and went through the installation again. And now I see w why it needs that space it's creating some partitioning. Uh, I, I probably should have just went through the manual partitioning because by default it's creating a 6 gig swap which I don't need a 6 gig swap in a virtual machine. I should just delete that partition. It's also creating an extended 4 partition giving it 15 gigs on the uh, root uh, file system. It's also creating a 4 gig partition for slash var slash calculate and then it's creating a slash home uh, partition and giving that all of the remaining space. So that is the partition scheme. You know, if you just let Calculate Linux do its thing, I probably should have deleted all these partitions and just went with one partition. But since I've already created the 40 gig hard drive on here, I'm just going to go ahead and let it do its default partition. All right, uh, network settings. Yeah, I'm just going to let it go with its default here. Uh, users. It's asking about a root password. I gave it a root password. Use root password for editing boot menu. Yes, it's ticked on by default. I went ahead and added a new user. I called this user Calculate and gave it a password. I made it a member of the wheel group. Uh, auto login. Auto login is set to not auto login. I'm going to leave that as is. I don't want it to auto login. Password missing for uh, for user guest. Uh, I really don't need a guest user. Let me just delete that user. All right, I deleted the guest user, which was uh, by default on the ISO. I guess that's for our live uh, desktop user. All right, audio, pulse audio. Yeah, that's cool. Video, some Xorg stuff. It's asking about our screen resolution. I changed the screen resolution to 1920 by 1080. It's asking about the grub terminal. It's set to GFX term. I'm just going to leave all that. Automatically check for updates is ticked on. Yeah, I'll go ahead and leave that ticked on. And that's it. The installer is running. It's creating our partition tables. It's going to format the drive and write to the disk. I'll be back in a few minutes. 
and the installation has completed I need to re reboot the system alright we rebooted the machine let's see how long it takes for calculate Linux 17.12 the XFCE edition to boot up alright looks like boot up time is going to be pretty fast here the screen resolution is a little off I asked it to be 1920 by 1080 uh, the height 1080 looks right but it's not 1920 wide it's coming up a little short probably 1600 maybe it'll correct itself here in a second though it's taking a little time to get to the uh, login manager though but this is the very first boot up after installation sometimes this takes a little longer than normal the very first time you log in I'm installing the VirtualBox Guest Editions to try to get a proper screen resolution here. And I'm going to go ahead and review Calculate Linux with this screen resolution. I, I spent a few minutes trying to get the VirtualBox Guest Editions working and I was having some issues. Uh, when I ran the VirtualBox Guest Edition install, it ended up like breaking the display. It also uh, did some weird things with the uh, input of the mouse. The mouse only operated on like one half of the screen or something. So I just quit trying to uh, get the VirtualBox Guest Editions installed. I'm just going to go with the screen resolution here. So calculate Linux 17.12 XFCE. I'm going to go through the XFCE menu here at the top. And by default they have GIMP installed. GIMP is the GNU image manipulation program. It is our uh, free and open source alternative to Adobe Photoshop. Uh, GIMP is a, a fantastic program. Uh, very professional. Uh, so if you're into any kind of uh, photo editing, image editing, GIMP is a very good program. Nomax is installed. Xsane, which is a scanning utility, is also installed under graphics. Internet. We have Claws Mail. I guess that's our uh, email client. Deluge is a BitTorrent client. Deluge is a really nice BitTorrent client. Uh, the BitTorrent client I usually install on my systems if the desktop environment I'm using doesn't come with one pre-installed. Also we have Gajim. I'm not sure what that is. Let me open that program. It's the first I've ever heard of it. Account Creation Wizard to connect to the Jabber network. Okay. I'm not going to bother creating an account for that. We have HexChat, which is our IRC chat client. We have Firefox as our web browser. And then we have Remina, that is a uh, like a virtual uh, remote desktop uh, application. Multimedia, Clementine is our audio player. Clementine is a fantastic music player. Really cool program. Also under Multimedia, we have Pulse Audio Volume Control and we have SM Player for our videos. Under Office, we have FB Reader, and then we have the LibreOffice Suite. We also have QPDF View, our uh, PDF Viewer. Under System, we have the Calculate Console. Let's see what this is. All right, this looks like it's our little uh, control center, uh, if you will, our uh, system settings and all that here. This is where that lives in the Calculate Console. I may come back to that and look around a bit further. We have our Calculate Linux update. This is the update utility in Calculate Linux. And we have options to update the system. We can tick this on right here to use only stable updates. We can search for the most appropriate update server. We can save packages used during the build. And then we have the little option here, click for advanced settings. And under advanced settings we have various you know, uh, repo information and some other things we could tick on. I'm not going to bother running an update. The system should be uh, up to date. Uh, this was released today after all, this particular snapshot. Alright, also under system we have Gparted, which is a partition manager. We have system profiler and benchmark. We have our task manager. Let's check out the task manager. Let's see what kind of system resources are being used right now. Uh, the CPU is uh, around 2%, 3%, pretty low CPU usage, what you would expect for XFCE. Memory usage, 9%, that's 9% of uh, 
about six gigs of RAM I gave it. That's a little high, but I've got a lot of stuff running. I mean, I opened Clementine earlier. That's sitting up here. I need to quit that. Uh, I've got a, a few things going on here. Yeah, see, that dropped at a percentage, just me closing Clementine. Under system, we have our file manager, the Thunar file manager, the standard file manager, and the XFCE desktop environment. Really nice, lightweight, minimal file manager. Also under uh, system, we had our terminal, which is, of course, the XFCE terminal. Under utilities, we have the bulk rename tool, we have the catfish file search, standard file searching utility in XFCE. Clipman is our uh, little clipboard. Uh, calculator is our calculator. GTK, record my desktop, is an app to record your desktop, of course. Leafpad. Leafpad is a standard text editor in the LXDE desktop environment. Nice, lightweight text editor. We have our screenshot utility and we have XArchiver. This is the standard uh, archive utility for the XFCE desktop environment to view, you know, zip files, .xz files, you know, things like that. All right, under settings, we have the settings manager. This is our settings manager, I guess, to uh, configure the XFCE desktop environment. Also some system settings for Calculate Linux. All right, I'm gonna click on the desktop, right click on the desktop, I'm gonna choose desktop settings. And let me see what kind of wallpapers we have. Apparently we only come with one wallpaper by default. It's this little uh, 10 years together wallpaper, I guess. Calculate maybe is celebrating a 10-year uh, anniversary, I'm not sure. And then we have two penguins here in the picture. Really nice picture. I just wish we had more, more wallpapers to choose from. Okay, so there was a little glitch there. When I first opened this up, there were only two wallpapers showing. And now, all of a sudden, you see the list sort of updated itself. And now, I have other options. Yeah, I remember all these penguin wallpapers from the last time I... I reviewed Calculate Linux. It comes with a variety of wallpapers. All of them have the uh, you know little penguins in them. Usually a pair of penguins, depending on what color you want to go with. We've got blue, purple, some yellow, brownish colors. Pretty cool stuff. You know what I'll go with this blue one. So it does have a variety of wallpaper, but they're all very similar in theme. They all include a Calculate Linux logo and a pair of penguins. If I go back to the settings menu here and I go to appearance, see what kind of style appearances we have. We have a few few different options for theming. Under icons, we have the Adwaita theme, the default GNOME uh, icon theme. We have Calculate's icon theme, which let me open up our file manager. You know, blue in color, very similar to the elementary theme actually, which is interesting because they have the elementary theme installed here. So that's probably what they're basing their theme on. And then again, the standard GNOME theme. Uh, fonts, I'm not going to go over fonts, but I'm sure it has your standard free and open source fonts installed. Probably things like uh, Deja Vu, Noto, you know, Free Sans, maybe the Ubuntu font family, that sort of thing. All right, I mentioned I might check out the Calculate console again, this little control center program here. Uh, Looks like we have options for backup and restore. That's pretty cool that Calculate comes with a uh, backup utility installed by default. That's great, you know. Let's see if I launch that. See what kind of program comes up. Okay, not much is on the screen here. It just has options to tick on for verbose output and then run. I'm not going to run a backup, obviously. All right, and then we have options, of course, to restore from a backup if we've made a previous backup. We have a, a builder subcategory here. Break the build, change the build, create the container. This is some uh, containerization stuff, uh, maybe for app development. I'm not sure what's going on there. Then we have uh, client information, domain, password. Then we have configuration for audio, boot, Live menu, configure a package, locale, network session, you know, your standard system settings stuff there. And then we have our user and group stuff, uh, flash installs, changing our profiles, updating the system. And that's about it in the Calculate console. It's your standard XFCE desktop environment has a, a panel at the bottom, dock-like XFCE panel at the bottom, and then, of course, an XFCE panel, panel at the top. 
if I open up a terminal and do uname space dash a, we are Linux Calculate. Uh, the kernel is 4.14.9. Very similar to the Calculate Linux that I uh, reviewed a couple months ago. I, I installed uh, the KDE desktop environment on that one, I think. But, you know, easy install. Uh, the only thing about the install was it required 40 gigs of hard drive space or whatever. That's not a big deal on a normal install. It kind of threw me for a loop because I'm doing this inside a virtual machine. I only gave the virtual machine 15 gigs originally. But when I went back and gave it 40 gigs and let it do its thing, I understand why it needed the 40 gigs. There's not much on the ISO. There's not a whole lot of programs installed by default. So it's a lightweight distro. But the reason it needed that extra space is because by default, if you let calculate do its own partitioning, it's going to create a swap partition. It's going to create a separate partition for slash var slash calculate, and it's going to create a, a separate partition for your home directory, which is fine. Uh, you know, I don't mind it doing that. If I was installing this on a physical machine, I would be okay with that. Uh, again, it just threw me for a loop because I wasn't expecting that uh, installing it inside this virtual machine. I think the last time I reviewed Calculate Linux, I mentioned it was probably the best desktop Gen 2 based Linux distribution out there. Uh, it's certainly one of the best, if not the best. And my opinion is the same. Uh, calculate Linux really it, it's just awesome it's an easy way to get Gen 2 installed 100% compatible I like the uh, the tools that they're using uh, really like everything about calculate uh, maybe one day I'll get around to installing this on a physical machine and living in it for a while I've never used calculate Linux other than in, inside a virtual machine I really need to install this on hardware and uh, live in calculate for a little while anyway peace guys